Okay guys, recently I have uploaded a video where I have discussed about base plate with stiffener. Okay, and if you have not watched it yet, you can go to the description. There I have pressed the link. Okay, and in this video I have discussed about how to use the stiffener to strengthen the base plate and why the shape of the stiffener should be like this. Okay, but after uploading this video, I have got a very interesting comment which says about that well the stiffener provided in this location and in this location definitely resist the buckling of this base plate here and here but what about the plate in between this stiffener okay why this particular zone of the plate does not bend though i have not provided any stiffener okay so this video will discuss or you can say explain why the part in between the stiffener do not required any more stiffener okay so before starting this video if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited okay so at the very first how does a plate or a slab actually bend okay so let's start with this cantilever beam simple cantilever beam this is the support and this is the beam okay now let's say you are providing some udl from bottom okay and how this cantilever beam actually bend very simple it actually bend like this okay this is the shape after bending clear great now consider a slab like this okay let's say this is a cantilever slab or you can say that this end is actually fixed within the wall okay so this is the fixed end now let's say you are applying some pressure from the bottom just like this beam okay so now you are applying some pressure from the bottom how this plate or the slab whatever you can call it will bend again just like this beam okay it will bend like this the whole plate is going to bend like this great agree okay now we will discuss about some support condition of this slab okay so this is the slab or the plate fixed only at the left side okay and this is similar to the base plate this is the base plate where you have some column okay and this is the pedestal okay so here this base plate is actually nothing but this one only supported at the left side okay by the means of this column face this is the column face okay now due to the load in the column the pressure is being applied from the bottom okay so here the pressure is being applied from the bottom great so this is the sectional view and now you know that it will bend like this the whole plate is bending like this why because there is no such member to carry this load from this slab to this beam within this slab or plate okay that is why this load is being carried directly by this plate okay and that is why it is bending like this now let's say you are providing some support some additional support you have already this one end support now let's say you are also providing some extra support in addition to this left support like this one okay so now you have provided this beam and also this beam in addition to this left support okay now again you are applying the load from beneath of this plate under of this plate or this slab there is a uniformly distributed pressure load okay now how this load is going to be transferred okay very simple you know that load always follow the shortest path right always follow the shortest path okay now let's say when there is some load let's say here where it will go to this beam or to this beam or to this beam 
also let's say you have some load here where it will go to this beam or to this beam or to this beam at the right side there is no such support so it will only go to any of this three beam right now where it will go definitely it will go to the nearest one why because load always follow the shortest path right so if you draw a profile like this or you can also call it the yield line like this okay so here you can see that all this load in this zone goes to this particular beam right all this load in this zone goes to this particular beam okay and all this load in this zone goes to this left support okay so here you can see that all the loaded in this hatched portion are actually being carried by this beam this beam and this beam so here this slab or the plate do not get much space to get bend okay but what about this space the loaded in this space is being again carried by this plate only okay that is why if you cut this particular part okay in this zone you can consider a support here and the load here is being applied directly over this plate there is no such beam there is no such beam to carry this load that is why this particular plate will try to bend under this load coming from the bottom okay but initially the unsupported length was this much but now the unsupported length is only this much as a result due to this underneath pressure the bending moment is less here compared to here okay and that is why this particular plate do not bend why the unsupported length has been reduced okay so finally let's come to the point here you can see that this particular column face is nothing but this support okay now this stiffener is acting like a beam and also this stiffener is acting like a beam okay now all this load from this zone goes to this beam here like this okay so all this load here goes goes to this particular column then all this load from here goes to this beam or you can say all this load from here goes to this stiffener and from this zone all the load goes to this beam or towards this particular stiffener so here you can see there is a very little area where the load is being carried directly through this plate okay and also the unsupported length here is very less here you can see almost half okay that is the reason this particular part do not require any more stiffener to resist the bending got it so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it